All right, what is up, gang gang? Welcome back to another video. This is gonna be a nice little short one. I thought I would just take a little look-see at this. You know, this is gonna be a little little bite to nibble on for you this Sunday afternoon. So today we're going to be checking out the top 10 biggest football stadiums in England. Who do I expect to be on this? Probably Manchester United, Tottenham, um, Anfield. Does Liverpool play at Anfield? They'll probably be on it because I mean, it's just the, the biggest clubs in the Premier League. So probably, yeah, probably a lot of London clubs because there are a lot of people in London. But without any further ado, without any stupid speculation that I pro really just have no idea what I'm talking about. Let's just get right into the video. Shout out to TFC Stadiums, the uh, channel that uploaded this link to the original video will be in the description below. As always guys, be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content. Leave in the comments down below what you want me to react to. Let's get into it. Some nice vibey music. Okay, Villa Park is number 10 with 42,790 capacity. Aston Villa, I believe, plays it here. The home of the great Jack Grealish. Stadium of the Light, or Stadium of Light, dumbass. 49,000, and is that Sunderland? I don't even know who that is. Jesus, this music is a little loud, my guy. St. James Park for Newcastle. New Castle United. Oh God, I'm sorry. Uh, up north, I believe. Home of, uh, I can't think of any, St. Maximin. Okay, Anfield, I was, I think I said Anfield is Liverpool. 54,000, that's a big ass stadium. 54,000 people in one place is, uh, it, it is a lot of people. It, oh, Etihad, Etihad. Okay, uh, Manchester City, 55,000. That's a gorgeous looking stadium just in general. Like, I don't know, nice color palette, nice shapes. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Okay, London Stadium is crazy looking. Looks like a spaceship. Home of the Irons, West Ham. Too bad they s are they do they suck? They're just kind of known to not be that good, I feel like. The Emirates makes make sense. They got Emirates money coming in here. 60,260. So that's like double your average college basketball stadium in America. Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. So does that mean Tottenham Hotspur sponsored and bought it themselves? Because you know you have Etihad and Emirates and all that. Does that mean that the club Tottenham just paid for everything? Old Trafford I believe is one of the original like I don't know big big boy stadiums. 74th and, and almost 75,000. That's huge. Oh and then of course Wembley. Um, that makes sense that Wembley would be number one, but that's not a... Huh, funnily enough, we're not watching a Premier League top ten. We're watching just the top ten in England, which I forgot, dumbass. Okay, 90,000. That's, that's, that's massive. <laughs> this is a super quick video, as I told you guys at the beginning. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Check out my rugby video that I posted earlier today. It was reacting to Jonah Lomu, or Lamu, the uh, consensus greatest rugby player of all time. I've also been told by a couple people to watch the video of his funeral, which is a little dodgy for me because uh, that's kind of a, a touchy subject and I'm also a fucking emotional human who will probably cry when I watch it. So we'll see if that comes, but <laughs> either way guys, I appreciate it y'all for watching and have a good one. Have a good week. It's Sunday. Get good grades, kids. Anyway, have a good one. Peace.